The video is entitled, Jacob as God's Tool of Revenge. There is more to this story of Edom's dem dem demise revealed in the script or the scriptures that must be considered and that is the means by which Edom is destroyed. It is Jacob. It is Jacob that God will use to destroy and kill Esau Edom. In Obadiah's prophecy, it says that Jacob shall be a fire. Obadiah 18. This is not purifying, purifying or refining fire, but a consuming and destroying fire. This fire will both kindle and devour the house of Esau, which is regarded as stubble and a substance which can be which can be easily burned up and destroyed like stubble. Esau's very nature is a catalyst that brings about his own destruction. It is interesting that it is interesting that the Jews have chosen the word Holocaust, the meaning the whole whole of something, which is burnt. The whole house of Esau is described as being burnt up. A true okay, in reference to the Holocaust the story, but that fact it is not yet happened. This destruction will happen to the Jews. I mean, happen to the Jews and at the hand of East of Israel, the white race as verified by Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will also scratch out thy, my hand upon Edom and I will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolated from Teman, Teman, and they of Dedan shall be shall fall by the sword. Okay, that had that's that has to do with um uh you know what I'm saying the 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 nation of Esau, you know, or something like that. So I got to go and look it up. Okay, and I will lay my my vengeance upon Edom, that's the white man, by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom, hold on, they shall do in Edom, okay, I had to, uh, let's see, Edom, according to my anger and according to my fury, they shall know that my vengeance, said the Lord God. Okay, and then they got the scriptures down here. It said, here is another prophecy involving the destruction of Edom at the hand of, of Israel. This prophecy from both Obadiah and Ezekiel was given at about the time of Babylonian captivity, that slavery of Jerusalem in 586 B.C. There, there thus, hold on. There thus is no period in Bible history that these prophecies ever could have have or did not occur. You can see Ezekiel 25 verses uh, 13 to 14. Teman and Dedan were, were major cities of Edom. Okay, now I finally understood exactly what that mean, meant. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, this thing gonna be upside down now. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. I'll be back. Uh, the Vengeance Upon Edom by Jacob. That's the title of the video. 